Welcome to Lecture Online, and here is the next part of dealing with logarithms, which is converting the bases. And the reason why this is important is sometimes you'll end up with a problem like this, where you have to take the log of base 5 of 30, and you're trying to you grab your calculator, you try to punch it in, you go, well, how do I do that? Because most calculators do not have base 5. They only have base 10 and base e. So what you want to do is first convert this into the exponential form. So we take the base 5 raised to the y power is equal to 30. And now you take the log of both sides. So you take the log of 5 to the y power equals the log of 30. Now, of course, here we took the log of base 10, but we can use the log to any base. So you convert it to base 3 or base 4, base whatever. But in this case, I did log base 10. And of course, the log of the fifth uh, of 5 to the y power, we can bring the y in front. So this is y uh, of the log of 5 equals the log of 30. And finally, dividing both sides by the log of 5, we get y equals the log of 30 divided by the log of 5. And this is to illustrate how you can find y by converting from log base 5 to log base 10. So we take log of base 10 of the number divided by log of the base, and that equals y. So now that we know that, let's go over here and we can say, all right, that means that this is equal to the log of x divided by the log of b if we convert to the uh, log of uh, log base 10. Over here we can say, well, that's equal to the log of 100 divided by the log of 5. Here this is equal to the log of 25 divided by the log of e. Again, always take the log of this number divided by the log of the base. And finally, the log of 50 divided by the log of 3. And so that's how we easily convert from any base to base 10. Now, if you didn't like base 10, you can use any other base, but then you simply have to, of course, instead of having log base 10 of, divided by log base 10, you can have log base 3 divided by log base 3 and so forth. So any, any conversion to any log base uh, works exactly the same way. Anyway, that's how you convert from one base to another, and I think now you're ready to start solving all kinds of logarithmic problems. So go ahead, take those, uh, give those a try, and if you have trouble, go back to the videos and take another look. All right, good luck.